Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today to discuss the Kappa Global Education Network programs for spring 21 and beyond. Um, so I know that it is a unique and challenging operating environment, but we hope that you are able to take advantage of not only uh, the remote programs for spring, as I know the U is not allowing in-country programs, but we also want to think ahead to summer and fall 21 and think about what your options are. So I'm going to dive right in, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. All right, so Cap of the Global Education Network. We've worked with University of Utah for a long time. We work very closely with the Learning Abroad Office, and we're excited to continue to offer not only uh, in-country program options, but also remote global internships, and starting the spring remote courses as well, depending on what your needs are and what you feel comfortable doing in terms of delivering a global experience. All right, so I'm gonna start a little video. There's a couple of videos embedded in the presentation and we'll continue to talk through. has opened my eyes to the opportunity that the world has to offer. I'm going to meet all different kinds of people here, all different kinds of personalities. You can have different things to do, handling transportation and everything. And I'm just loving my time here. <laughs> Personally, this experience has helped me learn to be comfortable with myself, um, be comfortable with meeting new people, uh, people from all around the country that I have no connections with. I've made some amazing friends that I'll never forget. Um, and professionally, I, I feel Oop, little tech difficulty. Like I can apply my, my internship, my studying experience here, um, and I can always talk about that wherever it may be. One of the things that we talked about in our program was how studying abroad and living in another culture for a while well is the best way for you to actually be able to critically examine your own culture because there are a lot of things that you don't notice until you're exposed to a different way of doing things. Once it was all over, I was, I was actually really sad about it. Um, it was really hard to leave my my coworkers, all of the friends that I had made there. It was really hard to leave my homestay family. We, but that just goes to show you that I formed really strong relationships with the people that I met there. So, why Kappa? Um, it's true that we help guarantee, create personalized internship placement opportunities, and there's an additional amount of incredible support that we provide in pre-departure, on-site, even in the remote virtual learning space. Um, we also don't nickel and dime, right? So all the program fees are inclusive and gives you access to everything we have to offer, including my Global City activities, which I'll talk about a little bit later. 
And also the reality is that a study abroad can be a very impactful experience, but we also think that there's a piece about personal and professional development. We want you to grow, articulate the relevance of this program as you think about grad school or employers. How does your study abroad experience impact you? And how do you speak about that in a meaningful way? And so that's really important for us, but also we've had a long relationship with the Learning Abroad Office, the University of Utah, we're engaged with different uh, academic units on campus to really provide a wonderful opportunity for you to study abroad and gain those competencies and skills, and also to be able to see a unique part of the world. So let's talk a little bit about the program options. We have what are called our global cities, which are semester, summer, and short-term options, and also our spring online courses. Um, we also have direct enroll programs, although my understanding is that really for University of Utah, when we talk about summer and fall opportunities, we really are gonna think about how do we make sure that you're focused on having a safe experience overseas and one that gives you the maximum value for your, for your experience. And so uh, in addition to having those programs that are available, we do have direct enroll where you can enroll in a university uh, and not on a Kappa program, but we really hope that you'll take advantage of whether it's direct enroll or Kappa Global Cities, all that we have to offer in terms of safety, support, healthcare, and personal and professional development. In-person and remote internships are also available and they're structured in many ways very similarly. And I'll talk a little bit more about what those programs look like in a little bit more depth. So the Kappa Global Cities are between 12 to 14 weeks and 12 to 18 semester credits. Our summer program is six to eight weeks and six to nine credits. Our short-term programs, which are four weeks and six credits, focus on very specific academic disciplines that students who might be interested in learning more about those subjects or students that have already committed and said, I'm all in, for you to have a little bit of a deeper dive in this content area. So for example, uh, our wrongful conviction seminar is headed by a professor who actually is ahead of the California Innocence Project. And his whole mission and work as a lawyer is to get wrongfully convicted people off of death row. So I love to highlight wrongful conviction because as we think about social justice, as we think about um, what's really important for uh, our criminal justice system, and making sure that our criminal justice system really gets it right, what is that compare and contrast between the US justice system and justice systems abroad uh, in the UK, Europe, and the rest of the world? And so it's really awesome to have that opportunity to focus on that or our global health program for nursing majors, or maybe you're pre-med, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about global health history origins, um, these are great opportunities for you to explore those, no matter if you're the casual learner or if this is really your academic focus. With our direct enroll programs, it's an opportunity for you to go to a university and to really live like a student at that university. So uh, outside of the University of Technology, Sydney, which is not running for spring 21, um, we have the other locations in Barcelona, Dublin, and London, where you can really go and have an immersive experience. But this isn't just the normal direct enroll. This is all about making sure you're still um, safe and supported. And so we have what we call direct enroll plus, making sure you can still come to the Kappa Center. We're still checking with you, in with you on your health and safety and your program. We're still making sure that you have access to all the things that students who are doing the My Global Cities program have as well, but you're really more engaged in taking courses straight from the university. So we want to make sure that all students, no matter what you plug into and what you think is important, that we have these options that are available to you as well. From a cultural engagement standpoint, whether you're doing a remote program or you're doing an in-country program, it's all about making sure that you have cultural engagement. That's the value and beauty of doing a study abroad program. And so we have uh, what we call My Global Cities. And I'm gonna show a short video about that in just a minute, but to give you some framing, these are extracurricular and co-curricular activities that inform your learning, but are also fun. 
So uh, I'll pause there on my global cities because you're gonna hear a little bit more about them, but it's important for you to contextualize your experience and have a chance to be engaged and involved with the local community, whether that's in person or remote. Also language and cultural exchanges, local university connections, service learning and volunteering, and other kind of internship opportunities that may fall outside of actually taking the internship program. This is all about creating your unique program that really reflects your interests, desires, and goals. forms of events. The first is called MGC events. These are events where Kappa takes you out on fun trips. For me, it was around London in the city, hence the name My Global City. Then there are Kappa excursion events, which I will now go into more detail. Are events where Kappa wakes you up out of bed nice and early, and they will take you somewhere cool in your study abroad country. So far, I have been to Stonehenge and the Roman Baths. Since I'm always in London, I'm always doing two things I don't necessarily love. One, I'm always on my feet, and two, I'm always in the city. So it's nice to sit on a bus and relax, and also go out and see just natural greenery. Right now, I'm in a conservatory that I actually just walked into. I didn't plan on it, and it's really nice to just be around green areas when you're always in the city. After we went to the Roman Baths, they took us to Stonehenge. Now, I won't lie, you can only look at rocks that you can't touch for so long. They gave us about an hour and a half, and if you are into the history, it's fun, or at the very least, you can say you did it. They always pair us up with the tour guide, so when we're walking around, we're not lost. They are very knowledgeable about the history and everything that is around us at the time. Here's some information on MGC events. A few other tours that Kappa has planned for us on the upcoming weeks is we have a Brixton walking tour. They are going to give us a walking and boat tour of Greenwich. And then they also have uh, itineraries that they send us where if we wanted to do something on our own, they'll give us a list of things to do in the order, what time of day to go. And it's very helpful if maybe you'd like to just do something on your own. The moral of the story is Kappa sets up these events so while you're in your country, you will never be bored. Personally, I am never bored because I go to school, I intern, and I make these vlogs. If you're interested in how I manage all this, my next video will be on time management. So that gives you a little bit of a sense of the My Global City activities and the excursions. And again, it's really about making sure to curate a really wonderful experience that speaks to you and what you want to learn. But I do want to pivot a little bit to talk about our global internships. So whether in country or in person, the global internships were really developed for you to help your professional development skills grow. We want you to be able to use the space and time if you choose to do an in a global internship to really learn how to work in an operating environment that's certainly disrupted by the pandemic, but uh, business and opportunity must go on. And so how do you build skills around virtual networking? How do you build skills with working uh, with a diverse group of people? Maybe you're going to work for a multinational firm. Maybe you're going to work for a local firm that operates in different parts of the city or country. Um, or maybe they liaise and work with other organizations. And so how do you engage and connect with people, right? This is a skill that's going to be increasingly important uh, due to the pandemic and what we learn about how to operate and work together uh, during and past that time. So we want you to gain experience, we want you to build skills, and we want you to connect globally. We want you really to be able to go to a grad school or an employer and talk about and show a portfolio of work that really demonstrates that you understand uh, the career competencies that they might be looking for. And so we work with you to understand what your goals are, your academic interest, what you think would be very helpful for you to build a portfolio of work around. And then we put you in that internship and work very closely with the internship site and you to make sure that you're progressing along through our global internship course. So 
Internships are incredibly uh, important and this is a great opportunity and they can still be really valuable even in the remote learning space. We have internship placements in all of the fields that you see on the screen. So it's quite a robust infra infrastructure for internships, say that 10 times fast. And no matter what you're looking for, it's about that personalized connection and conversation to talk to you about what would be a really good fit and what would be helpful for you. So always keep that in mind when you're looking for a program or opportunity, whether it's capital or otherwise, how does this fit my needs and goals and help me develop language, work, a portfolio that I can then use to describe later? Because that will complement all the really good times that you're going to have. So the remote internships can be for um, up to six credits. Most students choose the three credit option for remote global internships. And interning remotely is still really valuable and really important. And so we're gonna watch another video that's gonna talk about that a little bit. all walks of life and businesses are having to adapt and change to operate in a virtual environment. At Kappa, we've been placing interns for over 25 years with a network of over 3,000 global international partners. For many, they've already been operating with a remote platform in place. Uh, for many, they have virtual and remote structures embedded within their organization's DNA. You'll still be able to collaborate and learn from professionals in an international context. You'll be able to acquire experiences from a range of, of global perspectives. You'll gain an exposure to and an understanding of diverse working cultures and practices. You'll be able to develop those intercultural communication skills and emotional intelligence. In this way, students are gaining practical skills, knowledge of what it is like to work globally in a collaborative project. Students will have demonstrated their adaptability, their creativity, their ability to work independently in a self-directed fashion, their ability to collaborate, their ability for critical thinking. Those skills make you um, really stand out when you interview in, a, in your next job. You know, because if you can excel at an internship in another country, in a totally, like, in a totally different uh, industry, that's a big boost to your skill set. That's kind of saying, I can take a huge challenge and I can totally like smash it. And that's a really good boost for, for your future career. So I think it's, um, it, is, it is a little bit harder, but it's, it's totally worthwhile if you, if, you are, if you are driven enough to want to succeed at it. During my time abroad, I interned as an editorial assistant with Can of Worms, a small independent publishing company based in the UK. My roles and responsibilities included indexing old publications, proofreading, copy editing, drafting social media campaigns for future events and publications. Even when my internship was removed remotely, I was still able to a task with a wide variety of jobs. My supervisor has been a tremendous amount of support for me. He does everything from advising me on my work to readjusting his own work schedule so that we could have more online conferences together. Ultimately, we all hope that students, through gaining intercultural competence, will be able to sell this right, and be able to demonstrate their ability to do this effectively in, a, in an interview. Being able to prove yourself to somebody, get the connections, get the recommendations, and make the most of it. You'll still be able to build professional and social relationships with international references. You'll be able to earn academic credit through our global internship course. Enhance your resume and professional media presence. You'll be able to improve those employability prospects. So that's some really good first-hand information about the remote internship opportunities. And then because the University of Utah, um, you all are not allowed to go in-country for Spring 21, those opportunities, in-country opportunities, will be, hopefully be available to you in summer 21 and beyond. So we're happy to provide a space for that, both virtually and in-country throughout 2021. 
So I want to talk a little bit about the program dates. Um, for more specific information about summer, you can certainly go on our website, kappa.org, very simple. But in order to make it a little bit more clear and transparent, I want to talk about spring 2021 remote and fall 2021 in country. So as you can see, we are offering the remote global internship opportunities in spring 21. So these are the program dates that are available for that. So please definitely take advantage of that or find, come to our website for more information or visit the local learning abroad office at the student union. In addition, we have fall 2021 options. Uh, you can see Barcelona, Dublin, Florence, and London. Um, unfortunately, we most likely will not be able to offer Sydney this year, but our in-country opportunities are going to be available to you. And note that a lot of the dates for the programs are um, either in June, coming up in June of next year, so you have plenty of time to research, and we have a very flexible cancellation policy. And then for Florence and London, uh, as we see there, they are certainly coming up uh, in 2021 as well, and the deadline for that will be later this year, especially for Florence, and then for London, uh, you have until next summer. So you've got a lot of flexibility depending on what might be possible, what the options might be, and so uh, we really hope that you will be able to join us. I want to talk really briefly about program inclusions. Like I said earlier, we do not want to nickel and dime you, and it's about making the cost as affordable as possible. And really, while you're in country or participating in the remote global internship, that you're really focused on the learning and the experiential opportunity and not on cost. And so we include as many things as we possibly can in the program so that you can compare this with other programs, other organizations, and really get an apples to apples comparison. And so everything from emergency support 24 seven, insurance, on-site staff and support, remote staff support, pre-departure support, and from social events to public transportation, housing, it's all included. So it makes it really easy to compare those program prices. And we have had many learning abroad students um, work with us at Kappa and go abroad on our programs. And so we think that this model of making everything upfront really clear will be helpful as you pursue your academic planning and your financial budgeting for these opportunities, both remote in spring and then uh, perhaps summer and fall in country. To talk a little bit about the global internship course in a little bit more detail, because for spring, that looks like what's gonna be available for learning abroad. Um, this is really about internship placement, master classes, mentoring, and career workshops. We want you to come out of the gate strong, right? So in order to do that, we have a really robust internship course that brings in these other components. So you're not just gonna learn about the industry that you're in, you're gonna learn about working, the work environment, comparing and contrasting that work environment between where your internship is located, the country that it's located in, and the United States. And so it's a really nice overarching framework and structure to really help and support your internship progress and to develop that portfolio of work. In order to support that, we have scholarships. We know even with the remote internships being relatively affordable and a fraction of 10%, if not less of what the in-country tuition price would be, we still know that there, especially in this time of economic turmoil, that we need to be available and to respond to your financial needs as well. So there are a number of scholarship opportunities that are available through Kappa as well to help support your aspirations to do a study abroad program. I also would recommend that you circle back to the Learning Abroad Office at the Student Union to learn more. Um, and actually I would say because we're in a pandemic, even that office is virtual, but to meet with that office in the virtual format to talk a little bit about what other options are available to you. But we always wanna make sure that there are scholarship opportunities because no matter the circumstance or the operating environment, we want you to be able to access learning abroad, which is a high impact practice. So we've got your back. The application process is very easy and very straightforward. It's not like the application process for applying to school. 
often you can get it done within a couple of days um, and the output just doesn't require as much. Uh, we definitely want you to connect with the Learning Abroad Office to talk a little bit about what your options are and to find a program that's a really good fit. You go and do the CAPA application for internships. You work on a supplemental internship document because we really want to make sure that you have a great placement. You're never going to be getting coffee with a CAPA internship. This is all about your skill development, so we want to work through that with you. And then from there on out, it becomes putting you in the pre-departure pipeline, getting to know other students that are going abroad, doing some preparation work as well, and you're off to the races. So the application process is extremely uh, straightforward. And once you do that, what is your life going to look like while you're on your program? So this is just an example of the week in the life of what you might find if you were doing an in-country program. So it keeps you pretty busy, but there's definitely plenty of time and we try and be cognizant about what your Friday will look like. So there's plenty of time to explore the country for in-country programming while you are abroad. So this is something that gives you an example of what that setup would look like. It obviously would look different for just if you were doing the remote internship but this gives you a sense. And I think that that's really important as you plan out what maybe your summer or, or really to align with this, what your fall would look like as you pursue opportunity. Resources, you know, we are a resource. Uh, we wanna make sure that you have information about our internships, but honestly, if you wanna get a sense of what it's like to go on a CAPA program, check out our blog. That's written by students. It gives a really great perspective. Some of the videos you saw today are certainly available on our YouTube. Um, and so go to our YouTube channel at Kappa and you can see a tremendous amount of videos by students that show what we do and how we do it and are not necessarily just coming from Kappa. Authenticity is really important. So we want you to see what the student experience is like. You can always call us at any time and we're happy to support you. With that, that is the entirety of the presentation. Thank you for spending time with us. And again, if you have any questions or you wanna know more, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're always here for you and to make sure that you're getting what you need to have a wonderful experience, whether it's a remote global internship or it is an in-country programming program starting later this, uh, later this year. In, so for summer or fall for 2021. Thank you so much. Good luck with your choices. And we really appreciate that you spent this time with us.